Hello and welcome to my long-awaited mods video. If you are new here, my name is Sheik and I play primarily historical games. One of those being The Sims 4 and of course that requires a lot of mods. So today we are going to jump right in to my top 12 mods for meaningful historical gameplay in The Sims 4. This is by no means an exhaustive list. It is more the general historical mods regardless of time period. First, we have MC Command Center. I don't think that there is much that you can do in The Sims 4 without this mod. It allows you to do so many things. If you are playing historical challenges that have specific aging requirements, you can change the aging system for your sims you can do things like disable the monster under the bed which is an incredible thing there are honestly so many things that you can do in mc command center that i have yet to discover all of them i do think that this is a prerequisite for any historical gameplay or any gameplay in general in the sims 4 so you want to make sure that you have this and you play around with all of its capabilities Next, we're going to look at gameplay mods and new skills. First, we're looking at the functional loom. This is a very interesting mod that I have not fully gotten to play around with, but I did do so for this video. You can make all kinds of custom fabrics and then you can also craft clothing, not all of which is applicable to certain historical time periods, but there is a large variety of clothes that you can custom make. And there's also decorations like rugs. You can make blankets for your beds. The possibilities are endless here and the means of making income from this is very time fitting for many time periods. So this is a very awesome in-depth mod. It seems to be frequently updated and as an added bonus, it seems like there's a good weight to the skill level making. Of course, it is its own skill. And then the money that you can make from it is substantial. You can even just sell the fabrics themselves. Next, we have archery. We love the archery skill in our ultimate decades challenge. It is a whole lot of fun. Of course, it is a new skill that you have to learn. And along with it comes craftable items at the woodworking table. You can make bows and arrows and sell them. And there are also competitions that you can attend. I highly recommend this one for new hobbies in historical gameplay. I would be remiss without mentioning the functional broom mod. This allows you to sweep your floors without vacuum cleaners. Now note that this is also functional for base games. So you do not have to have the bust the dust kit to use the broom. But if you do have bust the dust, this effectively cleans the floors for you. And there are options for different brooms for different time periods. And this one I'm showing here is the medieval broom. This is a super simple but very immersive mod that helps out a ton with all kinds of historical gameplay. Now on to a personal favorite of mine. Have you ever wished that your Sims could go hunting? Or go foraging without you having to go look for everything on the map? This mod offers so many good old timey type activities, including hunting, going to the village and getting fish, playing games, going to church, all kinds of fun stuff. My personal favorite aspects of this mod come in with the cooking and the hunting. So you can use the items that you hunt and forage to make food. Of course, you can also use your general ingredients from the garden as well. There's also like warm milk that you can make. You can dye your yarn and add that whole element to your off the grid lifestyle. You can make bread, butter, flour, and sea salt, which then you can do salted meat, um, which only of course works with the meat that you do get when you go hunting with the mod. One of my favorite parts of this mod are these pantry foods, which never go bad. So you can prepare those and leave them out forever and they will not go bad. Very easy things for toddlers and children to pick up when the parents are not able to cook. Here we can take a quick look at what a sim with a higher cooking skill has available. There are more meals available for a sim 
that has a higher skill. So there are things to strive for. It is so much fun. If it seems like I'm spending more time on this mod, it's because I love it so much. So let's take a better look at the hunting and the foraging and such. So we're going to quickly send Edward out. He is from our Ultimate Decades Challenge. He's going to go hunting. His daughter Faith is going to go out and go foraging. We're just going to take a look at what this looks like when they get back. So Edward has returned. He now has venison, a small rabbit, and a chicken. So we're going to cut up one of these and just kind of show you what happens. So the meat is going to appear in his inventory. This meat does not go bad. So this is poultry. It will not go bad. Like if you were to butcher your chicken off the grid and not have refrigeration, that would go bad. This meat does not. So we can see that Faith has brought some goodies back, including ingredients for flour. 10 out of 10. Okay, now we're going to talk about the royalty mod. This is a massive mod. It, it can be kind of period specific depending on what exactly your goals are but there are many different challenges out there for the sims 4 that this mod is fantastic for it adds so many new functions we're just going to look at the main ones very very quickly this mod is so big and includes so many different things that we could talk about it all day and probably not get through all of it. So we are not doing that today. So the main thing, it adds monarchs. You can have kings and queens. You can have heirs, nobles. You have inheritable traits with this mod. Very, very cool. You can hand out titles with this mod. The possibilities are endless. This one in particular is great for like the ultimate decades challenge or anything where you want to play with royalty historically so i definitely felt like it was important to include this one today so you will have a succession for your monarchs there are functions here for diplomacy laws advisors it's honestly a huge mod some of my favorite parts of it are in the social system with options for how your sims can work themselves up in class. So for example, you might, there's like three options you can choose from for how your sim, for how they calculate what class your sim should belong to, like the physical money that they have or the property value. Um, however you want that to work, there are different options that you can use. There are executions, dungeons, um, it, yeah, there's a lot that you can do with this. You can boil people in a cauldron, burn them at the stake, have an execution event, all of that. And this mod is updated frequently. So there's, there's always something being added to this mod. It's, it's, incredible. I cannot say enough good things about this particular mod and all of the possibilities that it opens up in The Sims. Now for Waffles Nectar Overhaul. Now this is one of the few mods that I am covering that does require a specific expansion pack that is for the nectar making that is available in Horse Ranch, but this is extremely important because it is going to make it more realistic, especially when you're playing historically. It is going to lower the power of nectar making. So in other words, it's going to decrease the value of nectar and it's going to make the ingredients that you put into the nectar more important. So that is where this mod fits so well historically because of the economy system. Because Nectar was already overpowered even for modern playthroughs, I feel like this is absolutely vital if you are playing with Nectar making at all historically. Next, we have Rambunctious Religions. I absolutely love this mod. I have to admit, I do not play with it nearly as much as I should. This introduces a whole world of religion to The Sims. We have the Congregation of Non-Believers, Worship of the Watcher, my personal favorite, Treaders of the Occult, and the Cult of the Cowplant. And there are new interactions available. And Sims have to discover their religion, choose their faith, and it comes with additional items that you can use. So you get like a holy book, podiums, microphones. You can do a religious gathering event. 
And overall, I have found this mod functions very well and I have very little issues with it. And I think that this is important for almost any historical gameplay that you may partake in. Now we are moving on to default replacements. The first one being the phone to notebook replacement mod. It does exactly as it sounds. It replaces the phone with a notepad and it just looks like they're whipping out a book instead of their cell phone. It makes it a little bit easier to ignore that they're constantly getting on their phone and playing games and such. Absolutely vital to have this in your game. Next, we have a bottle replacement. Now, this may not be 100% historically accurate for all time periods that you may play in. However, it is very hard to keep Sims from automatically bottle feeding babies and keeping them primarily breastfed. So this prevents them whipping out a modern bottle. Another cool default replacement is for children's toys. I will also link a wooden block set along with this, but this is a default replacement. So that means if I click on the toys that we know and love from modern Sims, they will actually pull out toys that look more historically accurate instead. It's not perfect, but it is better than just letting them whip out those default toys. Last but not least, we're going to look at some of my favorite items. We're going to look at them collectively and consider them mod number 12. Number one being replacements for off the grid items like water collectors, candles, etc. Those are so important to have. But I think the most important one is this functional well that allows you to actually collect water that you can then use to shower or do laundry. I think it is one of the most important off the grid items. Finally, we have default replacements for nursery items, cribs, bassinets, and changing tables. There are several different options available. While you can get away with using some of the game provided furniture when you're playing historically, I find that is not true for the bassinets and other nursery items. And that concludes my top 12 mods for historical gameplay. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, maybe drop a subscription if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Sims 4 historical mods are. Have a good one.